these shows got a little freaky to say the least. I wonder how Zine is enjoying her new surroundings. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV body swaps. Go! Tie your shoes! For this list, we're taking a look at TV episodes in which two or more characters switch bodies. When would you look at these breasts? <laughs> hey, Dick, can we touch them? Be my guest, they're not mine. Hey! <laughs> Since we'll be discussing each episode's plot, a spoiler alert is likely in order. Something inside of me has ch changed. Number 10, The Planet Express Crew, Futurama. Body switching, eh? After creating a mind-switching machine, Professor Farnsworth and Amy trade places to live out their fantasies. I'm sorry, Amy, but your body's not up to the task. The body swapping doesn't stop there. The entire Planet Express gang gets in on the action as each character jumps from one host to another. I'm running away with this invincible robot body and joining something. Fry and Leela's romance particularly undergoes some hilarious development as they confront their feelings in the bodies of Farnsworth and Zoidberg. You admit it. You'd be ashamed to be seen in public with someone as hideous as me. While those two overcome their relationship hurdles, the same sadly can't be said about Scruffy and the wash bucket. In another city, we could be anyone we want. Go. Go now before I beg you to stay. Returning everyone to their original bodies proves especially complicated, but that's part of what makes this Futurama episode so inventive and clever. And they say pure math has no real-world applications. Number 9. Dipper and Mabel, Gravity Falls. Great! Just what we need. More Gravity Falls weirdness. This is stupid! While Dipper and Mabel Pines couldn't be more different in many respects, that's largely why they balance each other out so perfectly. Interesting. But who stole the cake? The twins come to realize just how much they need one another in this Gravity Falls episode, where an electron carpet causes them to swap bodies. I'll finally have my own space, and we'll never have to share anything ever again! Initially, the two take this opportunity to sabotage each other in order to win a contest. Oh, Stan! I've always hated you! <laughs> Meanwhile, Seuss finds that being a pig isn't as glamorous as it seems. Free me! No, don't eat me! I'm a man trapped in a pig's body! While this scenario naturally amounts to plenty of laughs, it also encompasses a touching message about growing up too fast and the meaningful bond siblings can share. You're probably feeling awkward and sweaty, huh? Yeah, how'd you know? Number 8. The Flash and Lex Luthor, Justice League Unlimited. Something's wrong. That's not Flash's mind, it's Lex Luthor! Although this DC animated series was primarily praised for its action and drama, Justice League could also have a wonderful sense of humor about itself. I don't want him hurt. That's not the problem. When The Flash and the devious Lex Luthor switch bodies in The Great Brain Robbery, we're treated to some of the show's best comedic moments. Ever since you plug into Monkey's head, you act perfectly sane and rational. Am you bizarro, mommy? As Luther, the Flash plays the Legion of Doom for fools and neglects to wash his hands in the process. <clears throat> what? You gonna wash your hands? No, cause I'm evil. As the Flash, Luther attempts to uncover the speedster's secret identity, but fails to recognize Wally West's face. I have no idea who this is. With fun plot developments and great character interactions, it's a classic farce that refreshingly shakes things up. I, like Luthor, find that preposterous. Number 7. Daniel Jackson, Macello, Jack O'Neill, and Teal'c, Stargate SG-1. When Daniel is tricked into exchanging minds with an aging man named Michello, his expiration date is radically moved up. How is he? Not good. SG-1 sets off on a race against time to find Michello, who's absconded with Daniel's body. Let's find him. And what if he isn't Daniel? We're going to have to prepare for that possibility. Jack and Teal only run into more problems, however, when they accidentally swap bodies too. One, two, three. <laughs> While this episode is full of memorable character moments, the main focus is on Michello, who actually emerges as a sympathetic soul that simply wants a second chance at happiness. You are one of the most enchanting women I have seen in my lifetime. I would be honored by a kiss. 
Yeah, I bet you would. Upon realizing the true value of life, though, he accepts the sad fact that all good things must come to an end. Number 6. Dick and Sally, Third Rock from the Sun Where are my boobs? <laughs> I've got them! <laughs> You're me! Being aliens posing as humans, Dick and Sally already have a difficult time blending in. You're worried about getting fat? Well, just watch this. Oh, you get me that sandwich, you horrible man! Their covers become even harder to conceal once they swap bodies, which allows both John Lithgow and Kristen Johnston to demonstrate their unparalleled comedic range. Hey, Sally, you look nice. Why, thank you. You've got me all hot now. Mary and Dawn are also given a chance to shine, as they come to realize that their significant others are acting stranger than usual. Mixing sharply written humor with inspired physical comedy, our characters begin to question their genders and sexualities. What am I supposed to do with your... You know, goods. <laughs> We'd say everything eventually goes back to normal, but normal is one word that'll never be used to describe the Solomons. I was mad at first, but now I really don't mind the shaved legs. <laughs> you know, I did your butt, too. Oh, don't think I didn't notice. <laughs> Number five, Arnold Rimmer and Dave Lister, Red Dwarf. But where will my mind be? On this. <laughs> Hologram Arnold Rimmer and Last Man Alive Dave Lister make for a classic odd couple, with one being a proactive busybody and the other being a lazy slob. I said touch nothing, didn't I say touch nothing? Look, I just ordered a shake and a crispy bar. Through a body swap, Rimmer promises to help Lister get into shape. My mind in your body, yours in mine. You saw how easy it was with Brown. Lend me your body for a few weeks and I'll get it fit for you. His true intentions aren't so noble, though, as Rimmer seizes his chance to smoke cigars and pig out. I can touch, I can taste, I can smell. In a humorous role reversal, Lister becomes the responsible one for a change, while Rimmer takes matters to unhealthy extremes. This was not the deal, you've welched on it. Lister does get his body back in barely one piece, but he probably should have warned Cat to watch out for Rimmer. Just one night, I promise. <laughs> My first thing tomorrow. Maybe Thursday. <laughs> Number four, Buffy and Faith, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. When you've been around as long as I have, you make friends, and some of them forge neat little gizmos, like the one you're holding right now. Although Buffy and Faith start off as friends, I noticed. It soon becomes clear that there's only room for one chosen one. Going for the boyfriend again? That's tired. Just something to remember me by once I moved on. The two Slayers are almost equally matched in terms of strength, but Buffy's Scooby Gang gives her a competitive edge. I want to help. You can't. Give me one reason why. Oh. That's one. Faith manages to turn everyone against Buffy, however, with a body swap. I guess you never really know someone till you've been inside their skin. As despicable as Faith can be, she's actually compelled to do the right thing in the end and has a moment of redemption. You are not gonna kill these people. And ultimately, the rebellious Slayer makes a tragic discovery about herself. She's her own worst enemy. I forgot how much you don't like Faith. After what she's done to you? Heartbreaking, suspenseful, gripping, creative, and poignant. This storyline is five by five. You sure you're okay? Five by five. Number three. James T. Kirk and Janice Lester, Star Trek, the original series. Dr. Coleman, your patient. In the final episode of the original Star Trek series, James T. Kirk finds himself inside a woman. No, not like that. Believe me, uh, it's better to be dead uh, than to live alone in the body of a woman. The starship captain is duped into switching bodies with Dr. Janice Lester, an old fling who wishes to take over the Enterprise. All the months of preparation now come to fruition. Playing an insane woman trapped inside a man's body, William Shatner gives one of the goofiest performances of his career, which is saying a lot. That's the opinion of an individual. As illogical as Shatner's acting can get, this story does raise some intriguing commentary on feminism and gender roles. Dr. Lester will be cared for, always. It is a debt and a responsibility I owe her from the past. There's no doubt that this is an out-of-body experience for the ages. <laughs> Number two, Starfire and Raven, Teen Titans. Starfire? Raven? Starfire and Raven are the only girls of their adolescent superhero team, but that's pretty much all they have in common. Shall my tiny replica do battle with your tiny replica? 
Knock yourself out. One fights crime with cheer and optimism, while the other confronts evil with gloom and darkness. Don't make me hurt you! Upon switching bodies, however, the polar opposites must work together in order to save the boys from the Puppet King. And with the Puppet King pulling the strings, the Teen Titans will command the entire city. Of course, this means we get some strong action, comedy, and animation, as our heroines adjust to each other's powers. When you feel the unbridled joy of flight, you will fly. Unbridled joy? Not really my thing. At the episode's heart, though, is an unlikely friendship. Truthfully, I am wishing to join you in meditation. Really? All right. Once the day is saved, Starfire and Raven not only learn more about one another, but also learn something valuable about themselves. After this, would you like to go to the mall? Mm-hmm. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Cool! I can eat my own homework! You'll never be me. My parents, my friends, they'll see right through you. I'm not so sure. They haven't so far, have they? Hey, Angel, how's my head? Hope you put some ice on it. Sweet deal you got going on here, pal. Love the hotel. And Cordelia, oh, that's how I spell W-O-M-A-N. The natural order of things has been restored, including our souls. But how? I am going to enjoy life once again as a human, and I'm going to enjoy watching you live as a fish. I think we have a breach of security. What do you mean, sir? There's a teenage girl in here. A teenage girl? Agent P, brilliant disguise. Number one, Sam Beckett and everyone, Quantum Leap. Oh boy, I'm in big trouble here. I don't even remember going to bed with this woman, whoever she is. The entire setup of this series revolves around Dr. Sam Beckett leaping into the bodies of other people throughout history, putting things right that once went wrong. So we've given the number one spot to the whole show. I don't know if I could love a man who killed my husband. But if you didn't do it, who did? The body swapping fun begins in the pilot episode, where Sam steps into the incomplete Project Accelerator and wakes up in the year 1956 with no memory, in the body of an Air Force test pilot. I can't fly. Beckett realizes that for each leap, it's his responsibility to take someone's place to change a past event and then make it to the next leap. Sam! What am I doing? You dog! It was your filthy mind! Yeah, well, I want my mind back! Each Quantum Leap episode keeps us at the edge of our seats as we wait to see who Beckett will switch bodies with next, which is why it tops our list. I'm here because I hit Buddy right. Aren't I? Do you agree with our list? I don't care for these boobs flapping every which way. What's your favorite body swap episode? Tomorrow's your special day, the day you get fixed. <laughs> oh, that's gotta hurt. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Execution will be immediate. Go to your posts. Go to your posts.